Oh, salawam, salawam. Kala hali hawa basham yaw shay, basham rukha kudash. You know, double honor to the apostles and elders of GMS. And honors to the Akim, our dear sincere brothers who push in his word in sincerity and in truth. This is shalawam. You know, and, um, what you see on the screen here is, is actually taken from a movie called King Arthur, Legend of the Sword. You know, and um, it's one of my quotes that actually stand out in the movie to actually show you that how the elites are actually running the world today. You know, and the spirit has appointed me to do this video because I was watching Apostle Gaba, Apostle Allah Gaba video where he was talking about the most feared group and he actually bring out information from way back then to actually show you that all this black panther and all this black militant movement all these so-called black groups it actually it was actually put up by Esau himself the white man himself to actually bring more chaos you know a control of opposition then we should see and that should actually bring more fear onto the people so that they could actually depend on the government more because that is, is, is all a trick is all a hoax you know and I, and and one of the quotes came to my mind when i was watching the video is the quote from king arthur you know the movie king arthur the quote about fear because that is what the elites have been doing that is what this devil has been doing from since day one actually ruling the world to fear you know because we know as the spirit of the Messiah have a because it is written the hand the, the, the earth is given to the hands of the wicked you know but to fear to his blessing to his sword he actually ruled the earth and these other nations was afraid but all the other nations at the face of the earth actually was was afraid you know and um but we are we are living in a time period now that the most High actually putting it on these other nations to actually rebel you know he's turning up the spirit right now for war these other nations you know as it is written let the weak say i'm strong you know but without further ado i want to let the brothers actually hear the quote what the king was saying about fear and how it applies to the to Esau today is only the is only the spirit that brothers can, will actually pick up on this you know let me play it I will show them power. I will show them strength and dignity. You will show them lies, weakness, and shame. Hell, King Vortigan! King Vortigan! They have come for you, that they will leave and leave with a lasting impression of me. They may even hate me. I'll let them hate, just as long as they fear. When people fear you, I mean really fear you, it is the most intoxicating sensation a man can possess. A force of something almost indescribable moves through your blood and takes you over completely. I wanna stop it there, and boy, what, hey, <laughs> and I just to show you how these elites think. This is how the elites think. This is how the elites think from 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 back then till now. Too fair, because you can actually see the king on a one world order, you know, and he has his army, he has his military there, you know. So anybody who 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 can rebel. Uh, maybe maybe put to death or something like that but and we know it's fiction but it's too fair that the elites actually run in this world today they could actually see the comparison spiritually 
you know, and that's why it's having a time and that, which is, well, we all know is Jacob Trouble is actually coming to test the men. To test everybody on the earth. You know, but the men are the most high, how about, you know, they rather actually die for this word, for this truth. That they'll actually live in fear and bondage. Because even in the scripture, hey, let me get the scripture quick. One time, I was it in my mind one time. Uh, this is 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7. He said, For the Most High Yahweh had not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a strong mind. Yeah, of love and of a strong mind because the day coming that is only the, 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 the elect of the Most High Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh will actually understand the simple precept here. The, the Most High had not given us the spirit of fear. You know, so when they actually come in, come in as a flood with the military and the might, you know, and try to force the men of the Most High Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh to actually take the trip. We will rather, we will rather die. You know, we will not fear. We will not fear the. We will not fear the system. We will not fear this man, this man military might, this man sword, because we actually know that it have greater. We rather fear Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh. And that is our true power. We rather take the chance and fear Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh. You know, and say with with with, with hell with this the system, hell with the new world order. You know, and I the mindset we had to be in. We actually had to be in the mindset of um practically laying down our life for the Mosai. Second Timothy chapter one verse eight. Be not be not there, be not thou therefore ashamed of the testimony of the Mosai Hawa, nor of me his prisoner, but be thou partaker of the afflictions of the gospel according to the power of the Mosai. You know. Be partakers of the affliction. Be, partake, be, be partakers of the persecution for this word. And that's what we stand by. We will not fear the government. We will not fear the system. But we shall die believing in Yahweh Basham Yahushai. You know, we shall stand up. And um, one more precept that came to my mind just now earlier. It was. I think it's Romans the eighth chapter, then the fifteen verse. Romans eight verse fifteen. He said, "For he had not received the spirit of bondage again to fear, but he had received the spirit of adoption, whereby we cry, Abba, Father." So we, so the Most High have not given us a spirit of fear. A fear in this world to be what bondage to what. The new world order, the so-called white man, this system, this matrix that we're living in. You know, it's all a hoax. It's all a hoax. Because here we have the elite ruling by the sword to fear. And actually oppressing the people and actually putting up opposition. So that the people in the middle will actually depend on the government and as a control opposition so that all will be controlled by the government at the end of the day and this is their witchcraft but as it is, as it is written that we are not ignorant of the state and devices boy so to fear the elite run in this world today And I said, I don't want to make this video long. It's just that when I was, when I was, um, when I was listening to Apostle El Lagaba video and the statement he made with elites, that movie came to my mind one time. You know, the quote of what the king said about fear. He rather men fear him. They could hate, they could hate how much they want. But he rather fear because he know the, the, the elites of the world know 
that too fair. A whole nation could crumble too fair. And they could actually see part, uh, you could, and we actually witness it in slavery. You know, when it have, um, when the Mosai actually put Jakes to slavery for, for punishment and stuff like that. And um, there was one slave master, sometimes maybe one slave master, and it's about 10 to 15 Jakes or maybe more on a farm or on a plantation. And they fear that one slave master to fear. That one slave master ruled them to fear. So it's the same thing coming back here in this world today with the RFID chip. You know, when they make it mandatory, when they make the market it mandatory. How, how, what our mindset supposed to be? We're supposed to be able to say, boy, fuck this new world order and fuck the system and rather dead and live for your Hawa Basha Mel Shai. You know? Because believe me, they will be running in and plenty of us will be caught up in concentration camps and plenty of us will um, actually die by the sword or, or, be, or get beheaded as the scripture said. But actually the scripture actually said too that be faithful until death and I will give you the crown of life. So I said I don't want to make the video long. Is that there's some things like you know that why I had to watch these movies you can actually get a spiritual aspect of these movies you know. How the elites run in this world today. To wickedness, to chaos. They cause wickedness and they cause chaos. They set up wickedness and they set up chaos. So that when the people are oppressed and pushed to a corner, the only thing they could do on is rely on the government. And now the meaning that the government is controlling mind, mind control at the end of the day. To fear. So with that, I'll say shalom.